All right, everyone, it is me, Judson Chan, and this camera is way off. Uh, yeah, there we go. Hmm. Wow, I seem a lot lower than I normally am. So Nick Fuentes actually finally sent me one of my shirts. I still don't have my Groiper shirt, but, you know, he did retweet me, and, you know, the Groiper community has actually been very nice and supportive, including Nick, so... I actually really appreciate that, because that exact same fucking day, we got a trademark strike for Aeon Tower Defense by the assholes at, uh, uh, you know, I'm not going to mention their name, because <sighs> I want to try to keep, uh, saying less actually helps more, I think, you know, because I can always have the option to just go all out and, you know, chimp out or whatever the hell, rage out, that's the word, rage out that I want to do, but... Uh, you know, I can't go backwards in a way, so, uh, but I mean, that's, that's actually why businesses, especially corporations and stuff tend to just naturally be okay with censorship because they already do it themselves. So they're just like, oh, well, the whole world can be censored too. And obviously that's wrong. So anyway, I've had quite a hell of a week and I'm still dealing with it because for some reason, Google's going out of control now and like, it's constantly locking me out of my account on this computer and it's so freaking annoying. You know, in fact, I was just dealing with it just now, so that's why I'm making this video so late. But anyway, I just, uh, I just simply had that bad trademark. I'm out of, I'm, I'm out like, you know, like what, 350 bucks, 375. So I have to create a new brand name and then file trademark for that. Uh, but everything else should still be fine. The thing that's keeping me up at night, including last night, is can I still, you know, use the word? That was originally the title of the game in my story because it's different context and that's what i've been doing a lot of research on and i think i should be okay um because there was a, also another reason because basically my word should be used like a homophone 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 it's a surprisingly difficult word homophone oh yeah i had it right the first time homophone each of two or more words having the same pronunciation but different meanings, origins, or spelling. For example, new and new. All right. Oh, that's another good homophone. So basically, Aeon is a homophone because literally everyone uses it for like all sorts of different shit. So the thing, what I'm looking at is can the trademark strike still bother me about using the word Aeon in my story? Not as the title, mind you, but like because I have to call it something else, which I'm not saying because I have to trademark it. Uh, so, you know, so in my case, you know, I've been thinking, you know, I could actually add extra words to it, you know, but it has to be done in a way so that, like, not only it sounds cool, but isn't, like, you know, like, difficult for someone to say. You know, the reason why short-lettered words are so good, like the word Jedi, is so powerful and therefore... There's a lot of resistance in trademark stuff is because it's very catchy. It's very simple, right? It sounds cool and it's very smooth. Like there's a lot of thought that goes into it. That's why this brand branding shit is just so fucking, you know, F word and just pisses me off. And it's like, you have to do it, you know? So anyway, um, Warhammer 40k, the video game is a homophone in a way, right? Warhammer, the game or Warhammer, like the one handed weapon, right? you know, pronounced the exact same way and even spelt the same way, but different meanings. So, you know, that'll be my thing. So, you know, I trademark law is just so much more strict than copyright. It was the copyright law. Uh, free speech definitely has a much uh, bigger, sta um, I don't know if standing is the right word, but more protection for me. Um, however, trademarks are a different story. Like, can you use trademark to override copyright? And there does seem to be some kind of conflict because things that can be trademarked cannot be copyrighted. Like, that's an actual rule. That's why the U.S. Copyright Office exists and the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office exists. They are two very separate things protecting very different things. So, yeah, but anyway. Uh, but... I'll see how it goes. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens because I can't even release the game anyway until I think November sixteenth at the earliest because there's a thirty day waiting period on Steam. So I've got, I've got now like twenty four more days or twenty three more days to wait anyway. So I've, you know, I've got more than enough time. 
so yeah. But um, but yeah, basically I'm gonna hit shit because the game's supposed to be a very Christian based game, or well, Christian loosely. It's like Christian characters, but they also have severe problems. Right, so you know, good good luck to the asshole that trademark struck me. Also saying, well, you can't use that word in relation to Christian. I was like, okay, now you're restricting my right to practice religion. Like, go fuck yourself. Right, that is actually something I would want to fight and spend, you know, tens of thousands of dollars on. Also, I didn't kind of like the lawyer I was talking to that told me to just simply like, yeah, you have a ninety-five percent chance to lose the case. It's like, no, that's bullshit. But I think this guy just, you know, just isn't the right lawyer. So, but anyway, yeah, so this I'll be very well acquainted with, homophone, yeah, but aside from the stupid thing, like, the game remains 99.99% .99 intact, like, there's nothing they can do about that, so, yeah, so we'll move on, hopefully the stress will go away, uh, definitely have been listening to a lot more Jesse Lee Peterson, because obviously I'm asking God, just like Jesse asked himself long ago, Allow me to see what is wrong with me. And it's like, huh. Yeah. So, yeah, I really do have to go up to my mom and dad and tell them I forgive them and shit. Because, like, you know, I, I need that last bit in my life. So, anyway, I didn't do any research at all because obviously I'm swamped dealing with this bullshit uh, copyright stuff. Mostly doing research. I actually resolved it pretty quickly last week by just simply abandoning it. So, for now, that's the end of that. All right. Um, oh, I guess another example is Prey. The assholes from Bethesda also sued something called Prey of the Gods, right? Because it had the word Prey in it, and then it was—I uh, mean, it was a pretty amicable thing, but it was very annoying. It's like the same dumb shit. And it's like, all right, man. It's like I didn't realize just how much I hated trademark law, right? Because it really is a restriction on free speech, and then everyone wonders why we have all these problems with censorship, right? It's like. It starts, you know, at a much more subtle level. Uh, but yeah, but anyway, um, let me see. So, uh, so Bitcoin's going up a lot right now. Finally, it's making its uh, rise. Finally, Bitcoin searches for last week is still pretty flat. Nine, yeah. I retail interest in crypto is just total dog shit. Not surprisingly. Uh, so Bitcoin dominance is at 59.5%, which is no surprise because Bitcoin's going up, everything else is going down. It's basically at 11,929, so it's obviously heading for 12k. Whether it hits it and then stays or goes above that, we'll have to see. Uh, pretty much you can see all this red. Litecoin, of course, is taking it up the ass, $47.27. Very irritating to me, of course. And dog coin, 328.46 million market cap. Um, so, I mean, we already know from the past. Wow. It's, what was minus 10%? Oh, wow. Some of these new coins are just getting hit hard. Yeah, so basically any, uh, basically altcoins are going down. Bitcoin's going up. So we've seen this before. That's good. So that means when Bitcoin goes up, eventually it has to come down. And then everybody will buy up the altcoins. So it's like ebb and flow, ebb and flow. I haven't, oh, wow. I haven't had to say that in a while. Uh, stock market seems to be doing all right. It's basically trying to reach 29K. Um, but I mean, the problem is the stimulus deal is a real problem because Nancy Pelosi has a very, and the Democrats have a massive incentive to just simply not do anything and just cuck Trump, right? Because they somewhat understand that the blame will always fall on Trump and Republicans, but Trump's smarter than that. He's like, say, yo, we want to give people free money and Democrats aren't letting me do it. This is what we want. We don't want anything else. So, you know, he's been doing pretty well at that. Uh, school reopenings. I'm actually okay with closing the schools down because it's just left-wing propaganda centers. So the less people are exposed to it, the better. Stocks aren't short hopes of stimulus deal. No, I don't care. Like, I'm not even going to read anything about this until it specifically says stimulus deal passed. Here are the details. Because, you know, I got other shit I need to do. DOJ states file antitrust lawsuit against Google. All right. So we're, looks like that's definitely a big story. Especially since they're censoring the Hunter Biden story, so but nothing's gonna get done. Um, rising case activity is now dragging down market sentiment. Uh, Justin Biden set to sue Google for antitrust. I assume this article is gonna cover that. Stop autoplay. 
Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, before I begin, uh, thanks to everyone that's been watching. There's actually a lot of views here. I'm not sure where this is coming from, but hopefully it's a continuing trend. Uh, we do have some other news too. I, I have to reload. I better refresh this. Oh, okay. Well, Bitcoin's going up, so eBang should be, or eBot should be going up. I think it's been more than three months, so there should be options here. I guess we're going to have to use Ledger X <clears throat> after all, which I don't like. Uh, did I pause the force industry on this thing? No, I did not. Okay, we're going to save my bandwidth there. GMC is at four to five. Uh, it's probably been suffering because, like everyone else, you know, Bitcoin is going up, so everyone else is dumping. But J GMC coin will be fine. Uh, four four coin also doing too steady is doing steady. Sixty four, sixty six to sixty eight or so. You know, again, supply is very low, so not a lot of pressure. 2x2 two two is doing okay. It's barely holding on at 8 to 9, but it's really going to be 7 to 8. I mean, eventually hyperinflation is going to kill this coin, so <clears throat> we'll have to see if Mitch can kind of maintain the coin, if at all. Uh, Rick's is the same story, 8 to 9. Um, yeah, not much to say. 100 coin continues to do very well. Now, it occurred to me that a lot of people are using the symbol 1, right, because you can't do 100. So I had to do one. So that's actually giving me, I think, the ancillary benefit of free auto marketing by basically leeching off of other people's <laughs> marketing uh, inadvertently. So <clears throat> because it's crypto space, everyone tends to be very decentralized. You can't really trademark it. So this is this is the future. This is why I like cryptocurrency so much. If it were if we had the same shit in the fucking trademark shit, I wouldn't have be losing sleep right now over this fucking trademark. F word tree. It's just like, it's just like you know, really irritating. Uh, yeah, I'd have to ask Jesus Christ to help me deal with this issue and to help take away my anxiety about this. So uh, it's, uh, I mean, it worked with computer programming, believe it or not. I used to get very angry and anxious and like fear and doubt when I encountered bugs in my computer programming, right? For coding, uh, what? Well, now they just call it a tower defense game. Um, <clears throat> Actually, I could probably still call it AI Tower Defense, but that's not going to be the title anyway, so... But anyway, for my Tower Defense game... Uh, and yeah, that actually went away really quick, so... Yeah, I'm sure Jesus will work his Hocus Pocus magic on me, and then uh, that'll be that. But I mean, ultimately, I still do need to forgive my mom and dad and tell them to their face. You know, because I don't speak uh, Fuchinese or Chinese, uh, I have to use Google Translate to do it for me, and... I, mean, I kind of already figure I know what's going to happen. Mom's going to freak out. Dad will probably be pretty super cool with it. And then, uh, you know, and then that's that. You know, I, I've done my job. Uh, so anyway, one is doing uh, very well. Uh, you know, the buy orders are continuing to pile up. So very good. Very good for us. It also got recently listed on CoinGecko. So, um, you know, and SpeedCoin is also getting its listings too on coin indexes. So we're going to be pretty good. We're going to be pretty good here. So 100 coin, very good. 40 to 41. All right, well, 40.6 to 41 Satoshis. It's actually one of the rare altcoins uh, being very stable. Uh, speed coins having severe problems, but we're going to rehabilitate it. And Crex has already tweeted out my speed coin tweet about, uh, you know, the next context. So, you know, we're obviously going to keep supporting it, you know. Um, I'll have to do some fake trade volume, so that's one of mine, just to keep the trade volume up, because uh, it's actually helping with the coin indexy stuff, so, uh, yeah. But anyway, it's at 38 to 450. It's actually way underpriced, but it's going to take me some time to uh, build up the brand for SpeedCoin. Also, because it's inherently very low supply and generates very little supply, it's going to be very sluggish going forward, so we are take the pain now so we get the benefits later. It's what that's what I did with 100 coin. It's paying off now because it starts off kind of slow, and then it's like, oh well, you know, the percent based proof of stake coins are better than 100 coin. All right, well, look at well, where are we at now? Now we're already four times more than Rick's in two by two, and it soon will be worth more than 400 coin, uh, 404 coins. So, you know, uh, again, take the short term pain, get the long term benefit. You know, it's it's like you know, because I need a sustainable income. I suspect suspect everyone else does too. So we, we kind of need something that doesn't keep going down, right? You know, because eventually two by two, four hundred four, and blah 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 is going to eventually bottom out. But 
you know, it's going to bottom out <clears throat> like JMC coin, where it's basically worth three decimal points of a Satoshi of a Bitcoin. Can't really do too much with it. So, you know, it's better than nothing, but it's like, well, you know, that's like barely lunch. Uh, so, no, sure. So, uh, not much. Well, let me see. Um, so, you just talk about the economy. Uh, yeah, that's why I need to leave New York. Uh, I think Tap of Floor will be fine because, you know, um, I should be under the jurisdiction of the Southern District of Florida uh, Appeals Court. Like, that's actually important for me because, again, trademark and legal issues. So, because uh, New York is actually pretty good too, but I need something that's also just as friendly as uh, New York, but obviously I don't want to live in New York here anymore because of taxes. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, yeah, she's a real babe. Uh, yeah, she's way too hot to be a politician. It's ridiculous. Uh, thank you, yeah. Herschel Walker. Oh, wow. Well, well, I've been asked many questions about Ice Cube, and I don't really know Ice Cube, but I know he was trying to do something great for the African American community, and he's been ridiculed, he's been put down, and I think it's sad because it's not like he went to the, the Trump campaign only and said, hey, I need you to help me with the African American community. He went to both campaigns. And the Joe Biden campaign told him we would get back in touch with you after the election, which has happened to African American for years. We've been put on the shelf where the Trump campaign jumped on it, and he never said he was supporting the Trump campaign. And like I said early on, I don't know him, but I think it's a shame that he will be put down, put down for trying to help someone. One thing I do know that our Lord and our Lord and Savior does show favoritism that he helped you to build your bridge you go and help someone to build theirs so you're doing a good thing i stand with you yeah the funny thing is most blacks are still gonna vote democrat anyway despite this because again they hate white people you know that's what happens when you have hate and anger in your heart it, like it completely screws you up which is why you gotta go forgive your parents including myself well, I see you then. That's the D D K. Yes, you for the private bathroom, right? Yeah, I mean, Cuomo's now just taking away our rights, especially with the block by block bullshit he's doing. I just, I just hate these shit libs so effing much. Uh, all right, let's see. Bull market euphoria. Actually, we do want to read this because I want to know about because I know it's not retail people. It could be retail. Four max next go to. Rags crypto next to gold, probably Russian investors. Oh, Russians investors. This is good. Uh, market sentiment. Yeah, because if Russian people in general love crypto and Bitcoin, that's going to pressure the Russian guard to stop being such assholes towards Bitcoin. New Zealand has no imminent plans to issue CBDC, Central Bank Exec. Okay, so yeah, it's, New Zealand's run by a dumb cunt that won in a landslide, but that's because New Zealand's like cucked by a lot of people. So it's just how it goes. Bitcoin price near. Okay, we are clicking there. Um, okay, all right, all right. So, what do we want to do first? Uh, we'll actually read the Bitcoin. We'll do the Bitcoin euphoria last. Uh, damn, who is their artist, man? They're so good. All right, Justice Department states file anti blah blah blah. Okay, the DOJ and eleven states have filed an antitrust lawsuit against Google. A unit of uh, three. Oh, so I'm definitely going to listen to Nick Fuentes tonight about this one. Docket does not list details. The case earlier they say is an antitrust suit. But early Tuesday, the Wall Street Journal reported that suit accused Google of engaging in anti-competitive behavior in search and search advertising businesses. This is 100% true. And believe me, I have extensive experience with this trying to game their system with, you know, SEO for a long, long time. Long, long time. The long anticipated lawsuit claims that Google uses the billions it makes from advertising to pay mobile phone makers, carry web browsers to keep Google as their default search engine. Just officials told, oh, this sounds reminiscent of Microsoft in a way. Though Microsoft was a lot more aggressive about it. The target deals in which. Google search engine comes preloaded on Android phones and can't be, be deleted, according to the journal. 
Oh, wow, I can't delete it. Oh, that actually is kind of anti-competitive. That's actually very anti-competitive. The docket for the lawsuit listed in the following states as plaintiffs. Uh, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, New York, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, South Carolina, Texas. So mostly, so most of them are red areas. Ooh. Excuse me. Okay, there's a comment. Uh, Google has faced scrutiny from lawmakers, feds, and state agencies in the U.S., as well as regulators overseas for some time. The U.S. The firm has been under a of DOJ, FTC, and state attorney generals, blah, 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 and the business may operate as illegal monopolies. The concept of a monopoly should not exist in America. Um, so I didn't actually know this, but Adam Smith, the so-called founder of American capitalism and free markets, supposedly in his book, Wealth of Nations, I never read the book because it was three volumes of like, okay, I'm not going to read this. Just give me the summary. He actually supposedly argued very vehemently against monopolies. So if I ever become rich and famous, which I should be able to assume I can get my fucking game out without all this legal annoyance. Yeah, we're definitely going, I'm definitely going to have trademark law reformed or destroyed, essentially. And I won't be able to destroy it. It's been around, but you know, never say never. And I definitely want the concept of monopoly to be significantly diminished. Technically, it'll hurt me because, you know, I won't be able to protect my brand as much, but it's better to just simply allow free speech. Like for a while I've been kind of conflicted, but you know, I'm now increasingly finding that, yeah, I think free speech really is the way to go. I mean, as long as money is not my prime motive, then yeah, free speech is more important than money. Unlike these fucking asshole corporations where it's the opposite, you know, and that's why we have the problems that we have. Like I'm actually beginning to personally understand it. Intellectually, I can understand it, but emotionally and philosophically, uh, <laughs> it's like, okay, I don't understand. Now I'm beginning to. September 22nd, New York Times reported that Justice Department narrowed its case to focus on Google's good search and search. Yeah, it's actually better to go after specific because you go too broad, you risk having problems. September, like your case, you like you need to win the case. That's the point. I took a twenty-four hours prior to DOJ is expected to file a lawsuit within the next week as it sought backing from states. Okay, I need wait. What's going on? Oh, on September twenty-second, the New York Times on the 29th, routers reported. Okay, so this is a history lesson. Okay, this is a history of what was happening. That also is likely to accuse Google of hurting comparisons like Bing by denying them access to user data. Routers report also noting that investigators are probing Google's search advertising. Oh, wow. Is Google actually... This is definitely anti but You can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. Bing should, is supposed to allow Google, and Google is supposed to allow Bing, period. Right? <clears throat> you know, it would be like um, the Apple iStore banning your ability to sign in using Google and vice versa. You can't do that. You're not supposed to do that. Because I guarantee you a lot of iPhone and, you know, uh, Apple users, which is probably like 90% of your order. I'm an Android guy. I don't like Apple products. They're, they're overly simplified and Steve Jobs is no longer in charge. So, you know, now the company is run by a bunch of shit libs. So, you know, fuck them. But uh, what was I saying? Yeah, like Apple just can't say, oh yeah, you can't use Google, period. You know, like that's really anti-competitive because especially because Apple owns such a large market share, it actually does material damage to consumers, you know? So that's why we have antitrust laws. Despite how obsolete they are and they obviously need an update, uh, it's, it's still supposed to ultimately protect the consumer. That's also the argument for trademarks, but I, I think it's just bullshit because now they're exploiting trademarks to censor people. You know, so it's just, you know, yeah. So, you know, you know, God, I really, I mean, I understand that, you know, I'm going to be a disciple of Christ or I don't know if that's the right word, but like, it's like, man, this is really, it's like, it's going to need, it's going to, going to need some extra support here. So, but yeah, I'm honestly still thinking about the stupid trademark shit. Again, there's no issues now, but it's just potential issues later. In July, Alphabet CEO Sundar Pichai, along with Amazon, all right, so useless hearing. Justice Department began investing in big term techs, big firm, big tech firms in July 2019. 
Okay, we're all those illegal monopolies. We should just not have monopolies, period. You can allow people to get big, but you cannot allow monopolies. Google has repeatedly pointed to early antitrust investigation on the FTC and into early in 2013 and 20, while well, it says proof that there is an operating monopoly. Yeah, of course, because it was run by Obama, so they gave him a free fucking pass. But remember, the other thing you guys oversee as well aspects of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Yeah, this guy's a stupid fucking conspiracy asshole. This guy is in on the conspiracy, but at least he might be allowing to let this go through. Current investigations have a bipartisan attorney generals from 50 states and territory, as well as the DOJ with attorney. All right, so Bill Barr at least says he's supporting this. I'm kind of on board. Uh, Google's digital advertising business face scrutiny due to its unrivaled size of all companies. Da, 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 da. You know what's funny is I don't hear anybody investing in Facebook search advertising, and they're way more invasive than Google. But then again, on Facebook, um, you can actually get a cheap price. It's actually better than Google. I, that's why I'm not going to be using Google search. That's why I'm not going to be using AdWords for Google. It's too expensive, and I get very few. And I don't need people to convert because my product will be given away for free and then they buy the soundtrack for like five bucks. Because um, <clears throat> I actually need to uh, show call, uh, use in commerce for my trademark to be valid, so eventually. So Plus, I would like to get some of my money back, especially now the stupid legal fees that I'm, about, um, that I'm prepared to pay to do another trademark application. It's so frustrating. Uh, according to 2007, El Coso Senator Elizabeth Warren, DMA, and the Arab Sugar on Burberry. Critics of Google's out of the online energy point to the fact that their web traffic would take a severe hit if they have to cut it as proof that it is too far. Uh, okay. Oh, well, you should use Facebook. Uh, oh, but for the first It's a shakedown, he wrote. Oh, this is actually important. Critics of Google's dominance of the online and industry point to the fact that their web traffic would take a severe hit if they left the company's platform as proof that it is too powerful. Jason Fried, or Freed, CEO of Basecamp, I've heard of that company before, I think, tweeted in 2019 that ads displayed above search results for the software company effectively forcing his firm to purchase ads to appear as the first entry in search results. It's a shakedown he wrote. Oh, actually, yeah, that is actually very anti competitive. Google and competitor Facebook have also been lambasted for their impact, their massive share in the online today. Google competing directly on online products for digital ad space. Probably have been forced to cut back newsroom staff, sell themselves off, or close down entirely. Okay, this is this is a this is a good attack vector. Uh, I love, I love that term that Elon Musk said, an attack vector. This is a this is a really good attack vector against big tech. Obviously, it's not everything we want, but the whole point is not all at once. You know, it's like Rocky. Right? Not how hard you hit, but how hard you can get hit and keep going forward. All right. While states have centered much of their investigations on online, oh, and by the way, I don't know, I, I might have said this before, but I'll reiterate Creed 2 sucked. I, I didn't like it. It's just like, you know, I felt that uh, Victor Drago was the hero and the Creed guy was like the villain. Like, that's just how bad it was. And I didn't want to identify. With Creed because he was way overly whiny and like not masculine, you know. So, uh, yeah, that's probably why Sylvester Stallone's like, yeah, I'm not gonna come back for Creed three. Yeah. While states have centered much of their investigation on online advertising, the DOJ has spoken to Google Stone see the Wall Street. Uh, as of June, Google still controlled nine percent of the world's search market search traffic market share. Wow. Critics must only yell, but accuse Google of favoring its own products in search results in 2013. If they take out after investigating a a year earlier, Google paid 20 to find settled with FD degree. Great not to play had served uh, had served target as user of Apple's competing browser. So, okay. But that's the stuff to of the firm. Yeah, this is literally nothing, right? Google probably spends way more than 22.5 million in a day to, just to keep their shit going. In July, Wall Street Journal investigator found Google search algorithm favored its own YouTube videos and search results over those from community. The community has been roughly fined 10 billion euros. Oh, 10 billion US or 8.6 billion euros by the EU. Uh, three separate violations by the EU. Like, as cucked as Europe uh, generally is, at least they're doing something right. 
2017, the company was hit by a commission for allegedly abusing its market dominance by. Again, the problem with this is our basic understanding of capitalism. Uh, it should be in two quotes, but obviously I'm grabbing for more water. All right. This would all be not a problem if we had very, if we just simply had anti-monopoly uh, protections. It makes it harder to profit off of your creativity and invention. But I mean, I'm sure there's a good middle ground that can be found. Uh, abusing the market. And 2019 was fine again for limiting its rivals from working with companies that already had deals with Google's AdSense platform. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely illegal. Oh, well, that's the end of the article. All right. Well, I definitely need to hear from Nick Fuentes, but he does a show later tonight. But um, yeah, I would say overall, this is very good. This is very solid. Wish there was a better uh, thumbnail, so we're going to have to use one of these things. Uh, but this is very good. Uh, they're specifically attacking a weak spot that is clearly anti-competitive. Like this thing, it, yeah, it's definitely anti-competitive. So there definitely will be some uh, uh, some problems for Google. Now, uh, what what this will eventually lead to? Obviously, we hope a breakup, more restrictions, more regulations against big tech. Especially now that Twitter, especially, is being is aggressively censoring conservatives. They even like censored, like they removed a tweet from Trump again when he did coronavirus. Better not say the words before what it is, or YouTube will probably ban this too. Um, and then uh, they 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 locked uh, they locked a congresswoman, Lauren Dirks or whatever her name is. She's also pretty hot too, but she's married, so there's goes my chance uh for 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 talk for talking standard republican talking points on immigration and then locked out charlie kirk right so you know they're going they're going they're going really ham uh in fact let me see charlie kirk i'm not signing on my twitter but he and i do follow each other uh well he's up to 1.8 million that's pretty big i'm trying to share about a charlie kirk show where he uh yeah oh wow that's really bad this tweet is no longer yeah so twitter's already deleted his tweet um yeah he's not saying anything about censorship here so again you know he, so even though he's 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 actually a grifter and a fake writer uh, fake writer as in fake right wing. I just add E R to R I G H T. Uh, he's not talking about censorship, even though he himself just got censored. So it's all, it's all. This is, these guys are all lying pieces of shit. Censorship and free speech should be the number one issue. These dumbasses should be talking about. Uh, so we got a long way to go, but at least, but at least some uh, many good things are happening. Right, because you know we're a very sick and corrupt society. You know, not just in America, but worldwide. But we are fixing the problem. So, if we can just get this stupid ass election over with, and then Trump wins re-election, Democrats contest it, then you know we can get the ball going again. And then I'll have my game out uh, earliest November sixteenth. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Before it ranks crypto next to gold, popular Russians. Uh, crypto is near as popular as gold among Russians. Ah, so the Ruskies are very. Uh, I always liked. I always liked the, the, the Ruskies. Cryptocurrency investment is one of the most popular investment tools in Russia, according to a new report. The World Gold Council major blah 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 blah. Going to report, crypto is currently the fifth most popular investment tool in Russia. After saying that for already, wow, that's despite Russia, uh, Russian government's hostile stance towards Bitcoin. Okay, uh, counting for a little under twenty percent. The report is based on a survey of two thousand twenty-three online interviews with investors from cities across Russia. The response are active investors. Those who made at least one investment in the twelve months preceding the survey. Uh, where is Bitcoin in here? Cryptocurrency, 17%. Interesting. Wow. It's a little under half for foreign currencies. 
Further report, cryptos like Bitcoin are popular in Russia and benefit from being accessible investments. In the meantime, gold is not so as a mainstream due to a lack of education and trust. Well, it's also because it's gold. It's kind of useless. Why would I want gold when I can get Bitcoin and I just have easily 100 to like a million percent gains? And it's a lot easier to get Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin is everything gold is not. Well, no, I should rephrase that. Bitcoin is everything gold is not, and it's a, and everything it, it is is a lot easier and better in every way. Like it really, it, you know, it's so, like this is the nice thing about technology and software. It's always getting better and cheaper and more accessible. Which is why I'm glad I made the plunge into doing computer programming, despite all the stupid problems that I'm having. You know, I will have my day in the sun. You know, like what I said, America verse is. I don't know if you can see it. America first is inevitable, right? And Gord Burt is rising. What cannot? Uh, let me see. Um, I probably because I'm not logged into my own thing. So uh, let me see. Oh, here it is. What has been set in motion cannot be stopped. The great but rises. Yes, it does. Yeah, there's my old picture. Someone even a griper even said he liked my uh, liked my little carpet, which is very nice because I bought this for like five, ten bucks, maybe fifteen, twenty. But I remember it was really cheap for what it did from a store that's now out of business. So, <laughs> yeah. Ah. <sighs> My, my neighborhood, my city is ghost town. All right, while well, gold has emerged as a similar sign of growing demand, you should have more cost suggested saying cryptos. All right, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Russia has emerged as one of the major reserves investing in crypto. Uh, Russia is now the world's second largest country according to the rate of crypto adoption after Ukraine. This is September 20 analysis. Oh, this is very good. I like this. So that basically means even though Russia is very hostile, I'm probably going to use this as the thumbnail for the picture, actually. Because uh, you can kind of see a little bit of tech, even when you see the Bitcoin and money signs. Actually, you see money signs, not necessarily uh, Bitcoin. So, yeah. And there's a big corporate, big tech-looking building. Yeah, this is perfect for the thumbnail of this video. So, yeah. So, even though... I mean, I don't know what Vladimir Putin's personal stance on crypto is, but obviously his government really does not like crypto, but they're going to have to uh, cave into it. And Escape from Tarkov is still a very popular game. I assume it's also popular in Russia, so and they're very much pro-Bitcoin, because you can, you can actually get Bitcoin in the game, and they make other fictional cryptos too. So... This is all very good. This is all very good for cryptocurrency. And, uh, you know, when all this stupid bullshit F word chaos is over, you know, when all these coins are skyrocketing and Litecoin better be going up to, up with it too by a lot more, uh, which it should. Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be good. And then I can move out. I'll have more money. Hopefully I should still have enough money to buy an apartment building. My parents just want me to buy a house now, but that's just not going to happen. Bitcoin price, where are we at? 38 minutes. Oh, we're working 38 and a half, 35. So we're working good time. Bitcoin price nears final hurl at 12K before bull market euphoria. Oh, I do want to check one last thing because I do want, because I have been uploading back to BitChute. Um, 74 views. Uh, oh, three people have come back. So that's, that's good. That's good. Yeah, because I actually, because now Bit, because BitChute in terms of reach is now just as good, if not better, than YouTube. And they actually have a growing user base, so it's not going to have the same suffer from the same problem as say Gab, right? Because we need growth, right? There's no point in me going through all this crap if I can't grow the audience. So, yeah, but uh, very good, very good. But their processing times are still a problem, so I'm just just hoping to God they'll just go through. That's why I'm glad I'm only doing one video a week. Uh, oh, that's a thumbnail. Bitcoin price is near 12k, new bull run. Full crucial support, and it did after the support of the price, could you surge upward? Okay, uh, actually, where are we at? Oh yeah, I also didn't know that, oh yeah, so 100 coins, now also listed on CoinGecko, so now it shows up here. Oh, 
So I didn't even know that because I just simply typed in one yet last night. It's like, oh, okay. It's like, so God is looking out for me despite all the gray hairs I no doubt will be developing. So yeah. So uh, all is good. All is good. Uh, things will get better. Oh, God, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Oh my God. Now I'm just going to move this over so they keep. This upward move came with weakness in the dollar. The US dollar dropped substantially. Yeah, that's because the US dollar was going skyrocketing like the past month or two during all the other market turbulence. So yeah, it's going to come back down. Remember, ebb and flow. What goes up must come down a lot. I mean, what must come down? It goes up a lot. It must come down a lot, you know, et cetera, et cetera. This is just the nature of uh, commodities, US dollars, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, blah, blah, blah. However, other cryptocurrencies, actually, I pro I'm probably going to extend that thinking to products, right? You know, everyone wants to play Star Wars and all of a sudden you're like, yeah, we don't play Star Wars. So your interest in Star Wars goes down and then goes back up and then down, up and then down. However, other cryptos have been, been following Bitcoin says so all cars selling off heavily as the tend to shifting back to Bitcoin. Yes, because that's what always happens. Move shot certainty is likely to occur. Okay. It doesn't mean that breaking is in and construction may have overall regard to all years have been showing weakness since to not causing massive price. US dollar has been showing weakness since the massive crap in 2020, causing the price of gold, silver, and bitcoin to surge heavily. Well, not enough, that's for sure. Okay. Um Blah, 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 slash support. Okay. Gold has been doing extremely well in times of USD uncertainty. At least gold is good for that one thing. Like, if you're really worried about the US dollar in America, you buy gold. Uh, but that's the problem. It's safety. It's not making money. You want to make money. I mean, it's nice to have gold because it's shiny and shit. And then when you know, all of us who play video games, we're all like, yeah, you know, gold, you know, gold, ooh, gold. Right? But beyond that, it's like, yeah, I'm not going to stake my financial and video game company future on gold. Okay. <laughs> Right. I do understand that Trump's favorite color is gold, but he also combines it with purple, I think. What are Trump's favorite colors? Gold and... Hmm. Excuse me, what's his least favorite color? Let's see. Because he has two. Yeah, there we go. I've had three... Uh... I've had three of my own. Purple, blue, and green. Oh, that's his own. Um, uh, fascist, of course. Uh, like, this is seriously what I find really annoying about this shit. It's like, we're asking what his color is, and everyone's like, fascist, Nazi, and shit. Like, everyone really cannot stand these shit lips. Uh, black and gold? I mean, I don't remember that. And yeah, it's, this, this whole thing is just full of like, like all these assholes should just be like deleted. Because uh, Core is a, a publisher, so they should totally just delete shit. Uh, <laughs> I will have that black or brown. Yeah, these fucking shit lives are so fucking annoying. I mean, I understand that. I think Jesse Lee Freeman doesn't block anyone, so I have to make it, I'm still making, I'm still blocking, but mostly just spammers, like, I'm trying to get better than just muting people, but obviously your fake account that's just causing trouble, I'm just gonna, like, just block you, because you're obviously just spamming. If you're a real person that also says the same thing, I'm like, eh, that's gonna be more tough, so I may just decide to just mute you, because you are a real person with a real opinion. It's, I just don't like fake accounts and fake opinions, right, and spam. Mm -hmm. Uh, such a car is also been able to you know, like what about all coins? Uh, all coins get crushed by recent moves. Yeah, this thing is just not saying anything we don't already know. Oh, is that Ghostbusters? I look like Ghostbusters. All right, you know what? We're just going to close it because we didn't hear anything, uh, read anything new. So, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash GMC Radio. Uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. So I'm honestly done for the week. Uh, no doubt more issues. Well, actually, I don't expect any more issues. So 
hopefully the Google account thing just stops being hyper reactive and just bothering me. Like, I don't see anything wrong. I don't have any other weird alerts. And I know the company I trademark struck me sent hackers into my accounts too, which is what triggered all this in the first place. But I, I think they've stopped since I told the, the, the stupid cunt lawyer. I did curse her out too. I said, fuck you guys. He's like, I don't appreciate your tone, but I, I, I don't appreciate your language or tone. No way. She said, yeah, she said, I don't appreciate, this is through email, I don't appreciate your language, but we do uh, appreciate, she did say appreciate twice, I don't know what the, um, whatever, but like, we do appreciate that you acted swiftly and cooperated, blah, 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 blah. Right, and I can immediately just think of Nick Fuentes saying, "Shut up, bitch!" Like I, I so wanted to do that, but you know, you, you have to, you have to exercise high impulse control, especially when you're doing dealing with bullshit f word shit like this. We'll get our revenge in day in the sun, though. If not already, all right. So anyway, I'll see you all next week. Uh, things are good. Things are happening. Uh, let me see. The presidential debate is set for twenty fifth. So that's this coming Sunday. So next week will be October 27th. So I'll actually have the benefit of the aftermath of the uh, uh, the debates. Well, one other thing I forgot to mention. Speedcoin is having a trade contest now. So let's take a look here. They got back to me. Uh, starts in two days and eight hours. So Corex definitely has a much better system now for us to use. So I just simply do everything up front and just email it to them. And then when they get to it, they just, you know, repost everything. And then, you know, super good. So I'll definitely be able to maintain constant trade contests for Speedcoin and 100 coins just uh, for free advertising, free exposure, free market. Well, it's not free because I'm paying the I'm paying the money in the prize pool. But uh, yeah, things will get better. Speedcoin will eventually go back to where it should be, which is... I want to say two to four hundred satoshi of Bitcoin it should be ten times more valuable than one hundred coin, all right? Because it's also because it's twenty times less supply generation. So I like mathematically the math is on our side. Yeah. So anyway, uh, okay. Well, let's adjust this a little bit. So anyway, I'll see you all in next week's video. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, one hundred coin, Speed Coin. And uh, there's our thumbnail.